can you represent in any image image can be of two type first one is a black and white image and second one is a color image okay so when you talk about a black and white image it has some black pixel and some white pixel black represent with zero white represent with one its a range started from zero to one okay and there is another grayscale image okay which has a variation from zero to 255 okay whereas in color image it is divided into three parts okay so what are those three parts first channel is what are the three major color combination in color image give your response quickly give your response rgb yes srivastava giving their response r g and b r stand for red g stand for green and b stand for blue okay these three color combination will will make any color image okay so with the help of these basic three color combination we can make any color image okay so how to represent a color image and how to represent a black and white image so this black and white image is of one dimensional okay what do you mean by this one dimension one dimension means it has only one dimension okay because it ranges from 0 to 255 and it is represented like this this is one image and you can represent anything inside this image okay so this is our black and white image clear any doubt what is black and white what is one dimension have you understood this so it start from here 0 to up to 255 okay so this is one dimension so what is three dimensional it has three color channel so first color channel is of this red type this is of r second color channel is of blue okay so this is a blue channel a third one is of red this is second one is a green and third one is a blue so these are three color channel image okay so how to represent a three channel image this is the formation of three color channel image so it is of three dimensional image three dimensional image understood black and white one dimensional then there is a gray scale image so gray scale image is of two dimensional okay so two dimensional this is a three dimensional what is a one dimensional image a one a one dimensional is a your continuous signal like your ecg signal ecg signal okay ecg signal this is a one dimensional then gray scale is a two dimensional then this color image is a three dimensional okay first time when you execute your program and you if you have not installed this program or this library then this error will be generated so i am using the second tensorflow environment okay and in this tensorflow environment when i write open cv I have installed all these library in this TensorFlow environment. Okay. So I wrongly choose the OpenCV as a base root library. So when you click right here and you click all and you write OpenCV, they all are already installed in this new environment, TensorFlow environment. Okay. So I have to choose this TensorFlow environment and then I have to choose this Jupyter Notebook. If I will use the base root 
environment then it will create error because i have not installed opencv over there okay so it's better to install your opencv so some pankaj is asking a question sir what is the benefit of making multiple environment so pankaj understand from here when you create any new environment like x y z okay you have to choose the python version okay when you want to create some project okay so you have already inbuilt code with you and that code was developed in python 3.5 or python 3.6 or python 3.7 okay so you have to choose that python environment okay if you are using python version 3.8 and that pre existing code is made on 3.6 environment then that code will not work over there okay so you have to select all the version very carefully understood the second point is that when you create multiple environment that environment is corrupted if let's suppose that this tensor flow will corrupt okay and your base root is working properly then your complete anaconda navigator is work properly if your base root is corrupted then you have to uninstall this complete anaconda navigator and you have to reinstall because your base root is corrupted so sometime it happens that base root is going to be corrupted if you will not perform all the task carefully okay so if you uninstall some part of library from this base root then this base root is going to be corrupted and your whole anaconda navigator should be uninstalled and then it has to be reinstall reinstall again okay i have executed this open cv2 it is working properly okay because this open cv is installed in tensorflow environment now you execute the path it shows the complete path for that image okay now you have to read the image that image is taken from this path and it is stored in this image variable okay so how to show the image you have to use image variable and it is shown like this okay so when you represent any image it shows in numbers so this is r this is green channel and this is blue channel so you can represent r g b like this so these are different color channel for one pixel so if you have one image like this the first pixel has three color channel r g and b and it has some value like r has one value 125 g has value of 137 and b has a value of 226 this one six, uh, pixel contain these three values you have to find out different image shape size or dimension okay so when you use this okay so i have stored img right here okay so this image is present right here i execute and i will find the shape what is the length for this 512 what is the width 512 what is the dimension for this image 3 so it is of 512 size right here 512 size and dimension is this is first dimension this is second dimension this is third dimension so it represented like this 512 multiplied by 512 okay multiplied by 3 like this 
so but is color depth so three is the color depth it has three color channel so that's why it is three okay so for any face recognition put, uh, task you have to first detect its face okay so first task is to detect the position of your face present in a particular image okay understood for any facial recognition task you have to first detect the face where your face is present and when you detect your face you have to define the coordinate for your face okay so what is its coordinate what is its coordinate you have to define the coordinate and you have to draw a rectangle okay so this is our first task this is our first task so what is its coordinate let's suppose this coordinate start from 20 this coordinate start from 40 so this is this is x direction this is y direction okay so what is the coordinate size 40 comma 20 this is coordinate so it is right here so what is the coordinate from here let's suppose it is 80 and this position is 20 so this is the coordinate so after extracting the coordinate you have to draw the particular rectangle 